All right, so our next uh, part of this review we're going to go over with you, if you check this out in the video, is chords. And a chord is just a segment where both ends touch part of the circle. And we can have, if you see here, we have one that's 13, one that's 13. We can have congruent chords. And that's really helpful because if they're congruent, we know they're the same length. And here we see they're the same length. And then it gives us one of these arcs. And what's really cool about um, congruent chords is that if the lengths are equal and they're congruent, then the arcs are equal and they're congruent. Here we're supposed to solve for x. So if we know this is 79, this is also 79 degrees. So it's as simple as that, right? And then we could figure out what these are and these are just by 79 plus 79 minus 360, divide this in two, and we could figure out what those are as well. Okay, 36 is a little bit different deal. Kind of similar, though. And it doesn't give us uh, saying that 36 and 36, but it does give us this dash here, and it tells us that these chords are congruent. And the, you know, the theorem says if these chords are congruent, I'm sorry, these arcs are congruent for these chords, then so are the chords. And if we wanted to solve for this, we would just say 36 equals 2x minus 12 and solve it. Okay, the last one we got here, let me erase this, kind of messing around with stuff. Okay, so here we have this one. I'm going to explain it here. So here again we have congruent, congruent chords, 11 and 11. So then we know that this is equal to this chord. The thing is, we don't know which either one, what, which, what they are. But we do know that the other chord and the rest of the circle is 114. We know these are equal, so if we just take 360 minus 114, that would tell us what's left, and then we just got to cut that in half. So let's try it out here. So 360 minus 114, 246. Then we just divide that by 2. That'll give us 123. And then we just know this one's 123 degrees. This one's 123 degrees. If we add them all up, that'd be 360. That's kind of how you solve that one. Let's look at one more here. So if we look at this guy here, let me actually. to stop the video and start over so I did that with this one okay so here we have a little bit different deal so we have this uh, chord here but we also have the radius running through the chord and it's at a right angle and then it's going to tell us that this AB is equal to 60 so the total length of that is equal to 60 and uh, and then it, it wants to know certain things but it does tell us that the radius is 34 so this is 34 and then AB is 60, we already said that, right? And the measure of arc AC is 71. So we kind of have that one in here. But we know if this cuts this perpendicular, according to the theorem, that if this one's 71, so is that one, okay? Because they would be congruent as well if that's cut by a perpendicular. And then the thing wants us to find out, so BC we have over here, this is 71 degrees. And then AB, right, you just add them to 71, 72. 142 degrees over there. 142 for those. And then AD, this is the harder one to find, right? So AD, and we should know if this is cut, cutting this in half at a right angle, this really is just cutting this 60 in half, and that will be a 30. Perhaps the harder one, and this is not in your, um, this would not, isn't in your review, but the harder one would be, well, what, if this is 30, then what is this one right here, yd? What's that equal to? It might be hard to figure out, right? But it's not really, because uh, if we know that this is 30, we just need another triangle like this, right? And then we can solve uh, for this. And uh, we've solved for this hypotenuse already, because actually it's just the radius, right? So we say that's 34. We know this is 30, then we can just plug in for b squared. So if we know a squared is 30 squared, and we'll say b squared is that, and we don't know, and then we have uh, 34 squared. So then we just have to do the math. This is 900 plus b squared equals 34 squared. Let me grab my calculator. I don't know what that is. So we got 34 times 34, 1156. And then we have b squared equals 1156 minus 900. 
is 256. Just do the square root of m, and b equals the square root of that one, 16. And then we know yd, this segment right here, is 16. That's kind of how you solve that, and they're not that difficult to solve. Um, let me know if you have any questions in class, and that's enough for those. And you can see if you got the right answers.